Hello, welcome to Analytics for All. Today we're going to learn to transpose data using Excel. As always, I've uploaded the Excel file we'll be using here, and you can download it at the exercise file at my website, analyticsforall.org forward slash exercise dash files dash downloads. If you go there, this is the site where you'll download it at, and you'll see right here, transpose data, transpose this little green guy right here. Click on that, that'll download your file. All right, so before we do anything, what is transposing here? Transposing is literally just kind of a fancy term for taking a matrix or a table and kind of flipping it on its end, kind of pivoting it at the corner. So you can see an example here. I've got a table here and where I have three columns, a sensor one, sensor two, sensor three, and I've got placed in four rows, quarter one, two, three, four. And here I have readings in the center here. Now, what if I wanted to flip this table so I could have the quarters on top, sensors on the bottom? There's many reasons you'd want to do it, you know, for some mathematical functions, but most commonly, if you, sometimes your boss just likes to look at it the other way and he tells you to flip it. So, you can either try to type it back in manually or you can transpose. As you can see, I've transposed it down here to where I have the sensors are now rows and the quarters are now columns. And this is, luckily through Excel, this is a pretty simple function. Okay, here we are looking at the download file, this Excel file. Uh, the first way we're going to show you to transpose is really simple. It's a point and click, pure Windows type thing. Where you just start here in the corner, pick the first cell, hold down your shift key, go down to the bottom. We've highlighted the entire table we want to transpose. Right click and copy. Now pick a spot you want to put it. We're going to land it here. And right, we'll put it here. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste it, but I'm not going to use just regular paste. I'm going to go down here. You notice below this thing called paste special. And you'll see these options. We're going to slide down and I'm going to look for this option called transpose. As you can see, the transpose already happened there. I hit that and there it is. Now I'm transposed onto the table here. Now I know in this small screen it uh, wasn't easy to see, but this is what that icon for transpose looks like. It's a little clipboard and you can see there's a, a horizontal looking set and it's flipping over to a vertical set. So we're transposing there. Okay, now as you see it brought over, brought all your form, uh, format and everything over. It's actually pretty useful and quick and easy to do and for most of the time it'll work for most people because it's a one time you just got to make the change. The problem is it's not, it has some drawbacks in automation. You really can't have this set as a macros or even, I'll show you another problem to have here. But what I want to do before I can show you the problem is we're going to do a transpose using the function. So let's label this one so we all know what we're looking at. We'll go up here and we're going to label this one paste. Whoops, where my mouse went. Label this one paste special. Okay. What we're going to do now here is we're going to go down here and we're going to use the transpose function to try this. Okay, This is a little different, slightly more complicated. And what we do here is when you do the transpose function, you have to first highlight an area of empty cells that can fit your transposed. So in this example, I'm going to need four rows in five columns worth of blank spaces here. So again, start your first spot, go over. There's my four rows, one, two, three, four, five. Down four rows, and there's it. this is my space. Now, do not click in this space anymore. Don't touch in there. Bring your mouse up to this function bar, okay? We're gonna insert a function. Click in there, hit the equals key, this tells Excel I now want to use a function, and we're going to type in transpose, and you see it highlights right there. We can just grab it, and it's asking me to put the array. Those who don't know, an array is just a grouping of information, so the array is we want in here is our original table. So we grab it there, shift, bam, and it fills A1 through D5. So notice this is A1, every cell through D5 and we close it. Now do not hit enter. If you hit enter, this will not work. What you have to do first is you have to hit a combination of keys. You have to hit shift, control, and enter. Now it fills in. Now remember that combination was shift plus control plus enter. If you do not hit that, if you just hit enter, this will not work. It will not autofill. Okay, now I know you're saying, okay, well my 
my formatting didn't go over. You could fix that manually, but I mean, you can go in there and make any changes you want manually and fix the formatting colors. But uh, I mean, that's not really all that important. Oops, I messed that one up. Let's go here and no fill. What I really wanted to show you is this. This is the important thing to look at. I want everybody to focus on these cells right here. We're going to highlight them in bold. Okay, this 23. Let's make it, actually we'll make it red so everybody sees it. This 23 and this 23. These are all the same cells. They notice they're all sensor 1, quarter 3. Sensor 1, quarter 3. Sensor 1, quarter 3. Okay, watch what happens when I make a change here on the original data set. Notice the change went across to my transpose function. It did not go across to my paste special. And this right here is the reason that you're going to find if you have a if you're building a sheet that'll be used longer than just a one-time report, you're probably going to want to use the transpose method because as changes come across, you don't have to keep repeating the process over and over again. Okay, well, uh, again, thanks for watching. This is analyticsforall.org. Uh, come check out my site. I've got uh, lots of articles and more videos on all things Excel and all things analytics. Uh, thanks for stopping by.